Hey what is up, mortals? It is, Robo Celestial here with a new video for you. Welcome to the part 2 of What If Deku Got One For All Early Season 1. I just wanted to greet you guys by just saying. Sit back and relax, you're in for a treat. So, we begin. Now that the class has been established. The students spent their first day learning what life in UA is like. Some general studies throughout the morning with present Mike and a few other teachers instructing their courses. Then when the afternoon happens after lunch, the hero course with Aizawa starts. During lunch, though, Achako approaches Izuku for the first time since the provisional exam. Oh, hey, it's that guy with the crazy hair and super cool quirk. Man, you just went and punched that giant robot. That was amazing. Achako was punching the air playfully as she was ranting about Izuku's feet with that zero-point robot. Almost immediately, Izuku gets nervous. His cheeks grew red as he scratched his hair, poking his fingers together as well. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks, and my name's Izuku Midoriya. It's very nice to meet you. Soon after this, Eater robotically makes his way over to the both of them, bowing and offering to shake Izuku's hand at the same time. Midoriya. Was it? I apologize for my earlier misunderstanding. Clearly, you are a better student than I. You saw something in that test that even I didn't, didn't you? Not only is your quirk impressive, but you also managed to save the girl from the zero-point robot. This kinda came off as a pretty awkward situation to Izuku. He put up both hands. All nervous like, hey, it's okay. I'm sorry if I came off that way, but I really had no idea about the rescue points. I just saw her in trouble, and I helped, kind of a reflex of mine you know. After lunch ended and Izuku finally made some friends. All Mike came rushing in through the door wearing his Silver Age costume. Look at me, coming in through the door like a hero. The class in a single collective moment got pumped up just seeing All Might in the flesh for the first time. All Might stepped up to the podium in front of the class. Now class, today's where the real challenge starts for you all. Because today, the wall begins to slide out little slots with briefcases and numbers on them. We will be doing combat training. The whole class jumped up in joy. They all grabbed their respective suitcases with their superhero costumes and made their way to the training area called Ground Beta. All the students emerged from the tunnel leading in, showing off their superhero costumes. All Might's big old smile was followed by a tear of joy. You all look so damn cool. Yes. A hero's approach in the public's opinion of you mostly lies within the costume you wear. All Might went and explained how this battle trial will work going over how each team will be based on random picks between balls with letters on them. Every team is the same as canon. Only now Shoto Todoroki is on a team with Ida Tenya, and Momo is teamed with Shoji. The first teams chosen were Izuku's team as the heroes, and Shoto's team as the villains. Shoto's team headed in. First, they went towards the room where the villain weapon was kept and got a feel for the lay of the land. However, for Shoto, this game doesn't require him to learn the layout of the building. When the mock test started, the heroes began to walk in, being cautious yet swift as they made their way towards the room. This was until the temperature began to fall drastically. Ice covered every aspect of the building, freezing Izuku and Achako's feet to the ground. Izuku was a bit stunned, seeing how someone has a powerful enough quirk to freeze the entire building. This, however, wasn't about to slump Izuku into failing, with his full cowling always on now. He just did a simple punch to the floor shattering the ice freeing them. Now, all we have to do is wait. They shouldn't be able to recover from my eyes. Just then, the hero team leaps their way into the room with the weapon catching the villain team off guard. Using his speed, Izuku brought out some capture tape, snagging it around Shoto's torso. Izuku then flipped over him and slammed him to the floor by throwing Shoto over himself with the capture tape. Just before Shoto hit the ground however, he froze the capture tape causing it to shatter on impact as well as freeze Izuku's hands. This made Izuku back off a bit as he's now dealing with a lot of pain from the frostbite. Midoriya. Was it? I don't recommend fighting anymore. Your hands will only get worse if you keep going. Shoto's foot emitted a pillar of ice that was aimed directly towards Achako. Izuku tackled her out of the way and then got back up to kick all the ice right back where it came from. Izuku ran towards the weapon but Ida moved it to the other side of the room followed by Shoto's ice to keep Izuku off guard. Izuku once again kicked the ice, the air pressure causing it to all fly back at Shoto and Achako. Now Achako. Achako was holding onto a pillar and Izuku punched at the pillar she was holding. The air pressure caused the pillar to snap off from the rest of building as the ice sped up even quicker. Achako used the pillar as a baseball bat and hit all the flying ice, launching them all back towards Shoto. Since none of them have gravity now there was no friction between the air and the ice, 
increasing their speed of flight to scary amounts. The ice would evaporate into mist blinding the villains and heroes while Izuku was focused on the weapon before being blinded by the icy mist, running straight towards it and snagging it, thinking he would catch up but Ida once again kept it away from Izuku. Izuku thought to himself that he isn't pushing hard enough. He's underestimating them and he can't be doing that. So he cranked up one for all a bit past his limits. He would then launch forward. The shockwave caused the mist to blow away and everyone can see again and Todoroki immediately launched another big barrage of ice straight at Izuku. And it caught him. He started to get covered in ice. Izuku then flicked his finger at 100% while it was still frostbitten. All the ice on his hands snapped off, causing his skin to go with it. Izuku screamed as the shockwave caused Ida to let go of the weapon. The ice blasted off of Izuku, and a big chunk of the wall got blasted away. Time's up. Izuku's eyes widened. We dot 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 lost. Izuku got on all fours in disappointment and frustration. But, I tried so hard. Even had a plan dot 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 why dot dot dot. Heroes win. Izuku's face immediately lit up in confusion and hope. Wondering why the heroes won. He looked over to the weapon to see Achako holding it. Oh Achako, when did you? Achako had a big smile and said, while the villains were so distracted by you I snuck our way to victory. Todoroki and Ida were shocked and disappointed that they got so narrow-minded when it came to Izuku. They both totally forgot about Achako in the midst of all the commotion. She thought so far ahead to see that we were distracted. Clever girl. The skin of Izuku's hands were all torn and missing from the frostbite. The blood that leaked would freeze over before it could really leave Izuku's hand. His finger was also purple from it breaking from that 100% flick. Ah oh, dot 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 that hurts. Izuku fell to the floor. Going unconscious now with all of his adrenaline gone and all that pain he accumulated hit him all at once. The rest of the class watched from the spectator room in awe. Not sure on how to react. Even All Might was on his toes the whole time. Asui. This class is intense. Ribbit. After Deku was sent to the nurse's office and the building got cleaned up a bit more. The rest of the class went through their battles just as they did in canon. Besides the new team change-up for Momo and Shoji, they won their battle. Thank you all for sticking around and I hope that you enjoyed. Before you leave we would just like to let you know that We The Celestials has many other channels for your entertainment and viewing purposes. All the information you'll need is right below here in the description. So feel free to check out all the other incredible projects our team creates. Secondly, on behalf of We The Celestials, I'd like to thank everyone involved in the production of today's awesome content. Their details will be in the description below. That's all for today's video. So goodbye and have a divine day.